Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. I'm Popelfin Gaming here and today I'm playing some more Bloons Adventure on Tower Defense. And today we are back with another 2000 pop ball because recently YouTube decided, or if, I'll rephrase this, uh, if you guys didn't realize or didn't notice one of my more recent videos, Max and Juggernaut Max 2000 pop ball, I can't remember if that was my last video or not, I don't think so, but one of the more recent ones. Uh, it's doing really well. It's up to like two and a half thousand views in like three days, I think. Uh, and basically overnight it got, or for me overnight, it got like 1800 views, which has happened a few times on this channel in the past like month or two. I don't really know why. YouTube's weird. Basically a video has like, it's pretty good. It's better than average for my channel. It goes up to like 700, 800 views within the first day or two. And then at either on the third or fourth day, the night of that, it just gets like 1800 views because YouTube decides to promote it better and uh, that's awesome but I don't really know how it happens and we just had a double 2000 popple which looked like fun so I'm gonna do it again with PB and Warrior PB because who knows all I can do is guess to the almighty YouTube algorithm uh, but yeah so with that I'm back with a PB and Warrior PB uh, 2000 popple so this is the PB build I'm not gonna go over everything because that takes a long time so I'll give you a second to look at it uh, if you have any questions about them, please leave a comment, and I'll be happy to answer. Uh, but you can also probably just find them on, like, the Bloons Wiki. Uh, and this is Warrior PB. So for Warrior PB, I did, obviously, as you can see, have a fairly large support build with her. But I'm tired of playing her with that. She's such a character that's used for support so much, because not she doesn't scale well with damage boosting trinkets or weapons, which kind of sucks. So instead I went for the only things that really apply to her, Excandy Broke, because that summons 15% uh, attack speed to allies and characters created by upgrades. Oh, what? Um, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that buffed allies, too. I really need to use that more. Uh, and then I'm also going to be using the Gem of the Gemstone for an extra, what is it? Increase the amount of characters spawned by upgrades and abilities. I actually also put that to PV because it also gives 20% attack speed, which is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I can't quite decide if I want to do Pizza Sassies or a different map. Because I feel like I want to do it on Fortified map, because that's more fun. Uh, but let's just do Pizza Sassies. I think this should still be fun. I think this should still be fairly hard. Because uh, PB's good, but she's not insane. And Warrior PB kind of sucks. <laughs> like, once you get past, like, your first couple extreme games, Warrior PB's pretty bad. Uh, so this should actually be a fair bit of fun. Um, so yeah, that's, that's sort of the goal for today. Uh, so a few things I want to talk about for the channel as a whole. Uh, is, as in case you guys didn't notice, uh, a lot of you probably haven't since a lot of people are new to the channel or just watch my Bloons Dimension Tower Defense videos and that's it. Uh, I used to play a fair bit of Cook Here in Kingdom and I sort of stopped because uh, I got bored of the game. I don't know if I'm going to go back to it. I know there has been a update or I think even two updates recently uh, that I definitely might check out if you guys really want to see it. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to play more of that game. I'm thinking for the future of the channel, which I know big drop for the first like two minutes of the video, but... Uh, I'm thinking I want to go more focused on, more focused, focused as I kind of still am, uh, on a Bloons YouTube channel, Bloons channel, because uh, I really like the Bloons games, I played most of them, I played Monkey City, not on the channel, uh, but I have played a lot myself, I played Bloons Pop a fair bit, which I'm actually thinking about doing again, uh, I think tomorrow I'm probably going to do, or tomorrow I'm going to do a uh, Bloons Tower Defense 6 video, BC 6 video, uh, because for me, when I'm recording, or when I'm recording that, or when I will be recording that, uh, they will be the Friday Stinger, which is a very fun and very difficult uh, advanced challenge, so that should be fun. Um, and I think maybe the day after that, so two days from now, I'm going to try to do a Bloons Pop video. Because uh, there's been a lot of updates to the game. It's still very similar, so it'll probably only be a one-off video, but I feel like it might be fun to check it out again, because there's a lot of events and stuff. Like, they have some, like, boss balloon thing. It's not like boss balloons from ED6, it's something else, but I do want to try that out at some point. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. And I think just in general, I want to keep playing Bloons Adventure and Tower Defense, but also mix in BC6. Uh, sometimes a little more BC6, sometimes a little less. Depends on if I have a lot of good ideas for videos and stuff like that. Sometimes I do have an idea for BC6 challenge, so I'm like, that's a lot of fun. Uh, but I don't have a ton of those, so it's a very easy game to just, if you have no good ideas, just challenge browser, take me to where I need to go, show me some fun things to do. Uh, so I do do that a fair bit. Uh, and I am thinking of continuing that, but there is also a pretty big update for the game coming out in the next, like, two weeks, I think. Uh, with contested territories, and I think they're adding, like, at least one, maybe two new Paragons, so lots of stuff happening with that game. Uh, but I definitely am still going to be playing some more Balloons Adventure on Tower Defense. 
probably forever, honestly, at this rate. Uh, not quite, but probably for the next, like, year minimum. Because uh, I still love this game. Most of my channel still grew from this game. Still mostly just watches this game. And I still like this game a lot. A lot of people ask me, they're like, oh, don't you ever get bored of this game? Or wouldn't you rather play more BC6 or something else? And I mean, sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I really wish I mostly played BT6 or whatever, I played more different games, but I do honestly a lot of the time in general. Obviously, you kind of know that since I've been playing this game for nearly three years. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I really like this game to this day. There adds a lot to a game when you add, I guess sort of like an RPG style to it, with like trinkets and weapons with what they've done. It means there's almost infinite combinations of towers and challenges and all that stuff. And, uh... Because I watch a lot of BC6, and have watched a lot of BC6 actually, there's a lot of challenges out there that are kind of fun, and I get to be a little creative as I transfer them into BC, not BC6, Bloons of Edge, Tower Defense, B-A-T-T-D. Uh, sometimes it's very easy, sometimes it's harder though, but in general I find it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, 2,000 Chimps, or 2,000 Popple in this case, uh, is one I've sort of taken, but it's a lot of fun, it works really well in this game as well. Uh, other challenges are harder to implement, but it's just a lot of fun to do that. Uh, most of my videos for this game are custom challenges because they're really easy. Like, that's the wonder of Bloom's games and part of the reason they've been so successful among, like, all other tower defense games is they're really easy to have fun with. They're very basic concepts, for the most part, that they get kind of over the top. Um, goofy cartoon characters and there's a lot of ways to add challenges and strategy to a game so it can be very casual, it can be very intense, depending on skill level and, on, well, game as well, but it is a lot of fun. Um, so I know this game obviously didn't do as well as other Ninja Kiwi games, but I still think it had a pretty big fan base at its peak. It was like, I think, like 50,000 players, which is pretty good. Now it's more like 5,000, um, but it's still honestly a very, it, it's, it's a dead game because it doesn't get updates, but there's still a lot of people that play the game, including me and most of my viewers, obviously. Uh, but it is a lot of fun, and, um, yeah, <laughs> I sort of went this whole train, keep having things to talk about now, just... That was it. That was pretty much all I wanted to say. It's a very fun game. I'm going to be playing it for longer because I think it's a very cool game. Uh, but I do think I'll probably be playing similar amounts, if not more, BC6 in the future because I really like the game and it's a lot of fun and it still gets updates, which, you know, that's that's a pretty nice bonus. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm also doing this video in part, just to recap what I said at the beginning of this video, to try to please the YouTube algorithm and its endless mysteries. Because uh, I honestly don't know if I remember and figure out how to do it. Because for whatever reason, the YouTube Studios has a feature where you can sort videos by, like, the most views. Or by, like, if they have more or less than a certain number of views. Which is really awesome. But it seems really weird for newer videos. Like, so I have a video that has, like, for example, the Infinite Range Towers uh, challenge. That video has, like, roughly 2,000 views. If I say, does it, like, search for videos that have more than... Uh, 500 views, which by the way, we're almost into a Moab here. Uh, I don't know what happened there. That was really bad. I know we don't have soda and mints quite yet, but man, that sucked. Uh, I'm not loving that so much. I think it's time to upgrade Warrior PB. Um, yeah, so it has like 1900 views basically. And if I say, like, find videos for, or search for videos with more than 1500 views, it doesn't show up. But if I search for videos with more than 1000 views, it does show up. And the most recent video, the Max video I talked about, which has like 2,500 views, won't show up at all. Like, if I do any restriction with views, it just doesn't show up. I wonder if it has something to do with like YouTube verifying views, but I honestly don't know. Um, so it's kind of weird, and it's a weird system, but if I can figure out how to get it to work, I will try to put up a, like, photo, I guess, of some of the thumbnails of the videos that I've done, um, that have been more successful and sort of... Not blown up, because obviously they still only have like two, three thousand views, but have done better than the rest. Um, so I will try to do that if I remember, because they're kind of like they're very different. Um, like there was the um, Monkey Allies Challenge, which was a lot of fun, but it did really well. It was up to like over three thousand. There was the Tech Terror uh, Send the Clones. There was obviously the Smack Sugar Up Max one, uh, Two Thousand Popple, the Infinite Range. Uh, allies and Towers did really well. Also, we're relying so much on the PB's ability here. I knew we would, but I'm hoping that once Warrior PB gets, like, fully upgraded, we'll be slightly better off. Uh, though it doesn't look like it. I think we're gonna- this is gonna be a tough challenge. Kind of glad I'm not on a fortified map, considering we're still struggling to Moabs. Which is always wonderful, but this is a long map, so we should be okay. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure how it works. Uh, it doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but still, it happens for some reason. 
Uh, but if I can't figure it out, I will put it up, because yeah, there's a lot of different kinds of videos. Obviously, all of them are Adventure Time videos for the most part. Though my first uh, BC6 video, I released after I had like three or four really, uh, really good Adventure Time videos, and actually did really well as well. Um, so that was kind of our first BC6 video in a while. I've done some might are super old for BC6, some of them are much newer. I think my second video for this channel was a BC6 video. Um, so that's kind of crazy. First or second, it's like very, um, very original for this channel, but I didn't play it much. Like, I did one or two videos and then I never did it again. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's kind of part of this channel. Um, but I had, and then I think like a year and a half later, I did like one or two videos and then here we are now with me playing it again because I keep cycling through my games again. Uh, if you guys do still have like fun games you like you want me to check out, uh, obviously better for the mobile games, but I don't really care. Uh, that is definitely more my genre. Um, are mobile games a genre? I think you can basically say mobile games are a genre. They might as well be, um, sort of, I guess. But if you guys do have some game suggestions, I'm still open to playing more games. Uh, if a lot of you want to see it, or if it looks really fun to me, I will definitely still try that at least for one video. Uh, but I am definitely thinking of mostly focusing in on Adventure Time, or Balloons Adventure Time, and BT6. Uh, if there were new Adventure Time games, I'd probably try those out. Uh, obviously new Ninja Kiwi games, I'd probably try those out, potentially even older ones as well. Uh, I am maxed out, right, beyond this, I guess to me, which is useless. Like, these upgrades don't do anything, uh, I just kind of want to buy them, because why not? Also, ZMD time, how will we do it? PB, you're kind of missing there. Uh, do you want to initiate, sh uh, screen shake? Let's initiate screen shake. Ultra laser beam of doom that makes the screen shake, hurts my eyes, probably gives everyone here a headache, including me, and also probably drops the YouTube, um... I think it's bit right. It's like the basically makes YouTube lag. Um, but yeah, so that that's cool. There's multiple abilities in this game to do this or do that. But the Gumball Garden in particular is just like screen be destroyed. It's not attacking the balloons. It's attacking your screen and anything that's, that's recording the screen. But I love this. Like we're dying to or we're almost leaking four to five more abs because we rely so much on abilities for both of these towers to do any damage. Like, PB's not garbage without them, and neither is Worry PB, but both of them kind of suck without abilities. They're like, their abilities make them easily a hundred times stronger. Um, that may be an exaggeration. Though I think for PB, honestly, I don't know if a hundred times is an exaggeration. It makes them significantly stronger. Uh, they definitely are, I'd say, probably towers in this game that rely the most on abilities. Uh, other towers, obviously, Super Monkey, pretty happy. Uh, but Super Monkey, honestly, the more I play this game, especially in the past, like, six months, I'd say, Super Monkey kind of sucks. Like, he's just not that good in this game. Uh, attack speed, don't get me wrong, is very useful in this game. Also, screen shake again. I apologize, but I need to pop the ZMGs. I don't think I'll do it again for a while, but every once in a while, I gotta have the extra power boost. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, what was I talking about? I was talking about how Super Monkey's not that good, because although attack speed is very useful in this game, uh, there are a lot of towers that can shoot very fast and do a lot of damage very easily. Uh, Psy being one of them. Um, Commander Cassie obviously has a lot of projectiles with the triple projectile upgrade and stuff. It's very crazy. Um, and although Super Monkey is still very powerful, he's really expensive. And on top of him being really expensive, his upgrades are incredibly uncost effective. Like, that's the big difference. Like, yeah, Super Monkey costs $3,000, which is expensive, but it's not that bad. The main thing is his upgrades get even more expensive from there, and they add almost nothing. Like, Laser Blast adds a little bit of Pierce. I think Plasma Blast gives Love Pump power, but also gives, like, one damage, I think, and some more attack speed. It might double attack speed, but even if it does, that's really bad, all things considered. Uh, also, it's around 71, and we're doing really well. I just figured I need to mention that. But yeah, Super Monkey kind of stinks. I have a semi-old video on the channel basically saying Psy's better than Super Monkey, which is my first, I think, like, Ultra Buff Psy. I say my first. Uh, I sort of did a second one recently, but not for really. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so for Ultra Buff Psy, I basically said, hey, size better than Super Monkey, and I still stand by that. For a while I didn't, but I definitely do now. Uh, size really, really powerful. I'd still say Psy is one of my favorites, and probably the best tower in this game, uh, for a lot of reasons. Also, I think we need Gumball Guardian here, because there's no laser! What the heck? I need to laugh at this chaos right now, so I just pause the screen. As you can see, the screen is eternally shaking. You could have programmed the pause button to stop this, but oh... Great. Also, uh, my Gumball Guardian- oh, never mind, it's turning strong. I need to play this better, uh, and this is showing my eyes, so bye. <laughs> okay, well, I'm back here, and hopefully, 
I'm not gonna lose now. I'm gonna actually play this a little bit better here. And I think my goal is gonna be to use Ling Ball Guardian pretty much as soon as possible, because why not? Uh, also, I think it targets Strong, which kind of interferes with me using it any later. So, come on, these abilities actually aren't up in time, which feels weird. I feel like I had this ability up before now, but I guess I didn't, maybe? Um, is anyone else a little confused here? I... Whatever, we won, so that's all good. Whatever. <laughs> what just happened there? My Gumball Guardian ability still isn't ready. Um... I think there was some pretty serious glitches there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but I think I need to do some myth-busting here. Because what the heck happened with that Gumball Guardian ability cooldown? Also, that was some clutch PB ability timing. Uh, though I think we're dead to these Vigo Rainbows, because I have no abilities. <laughs> Come on, PB! Your ability's so close! It's almost ready! And if not, I guess I'll see if I can lag this into existence, but I think we're good. I worry PB actually, as you can see, did a pretty good job on that. PB kind of stinks, because her ability is really, like... It's single target, and it's in a straight line, and there's no real straight lines here, so we actually could totally lose. Uh, this is actually really bad for us. So Warrior PB is hard carrying this round. <laughs> PB is doing really bad. Warrior PB, her, like, sentries are actually hard carrying. Also, I just realized Warrior PB, she doesn't get pops for her sentries, which is kind of dumb. At least I don't think she does. Yeah, pretty sure she doesn't. Uh, that's very dumb as far as I'm concerned, but also, bad balloon time. Time to demolish. What are you doing, PB? So it's because of the, like, red, like, the table in the way, which blocks targeting, I think. But seriously, PB is just shooting into the void of nothingness. I probably could have played that better. Why was there a second, like, mints? There was only one soda laser, but there were, like, two mint lasers. And PB still can't use her ability. That makes sense, sort of. I don't know. I need to play this a bit better. But as you can see, the Babylon gets absolutely demolished by PB's ability. Does so much damage. It's actually perfect timing to stall out the Gumball Guardian as well. And now we have full map range. Like, what the heck is up with this? I don't get it. Uh, was that bad timing for the DTs? That was super bad timing for the DTs. I'll be back in a second. Okay, uh, time to go back and demolish the bad balloon this time. I'm actually gonna wait a bit longer for this ability to actually affect the bad balloon better. I <laughs> uh, but no, for a while there, it did definitely look like there was, like, two soda and mints, uh, streams, which is kind of weird, but whatever. As you can see, though, bad balloon still gets demolished. So much damage. Honestly, probably the highest DPS ability in the game, if I had to say, like, if I had to guess. Uh, because it actually does get buffs from more trinkets and weapons, too, and it's already super powerful. As you can see, slightly better ability timing, and we're all good. I was a little terrified of that ceramic there, but nah, we are indeed all good. Uh, and let's, of course, end the video with screen shaking! Woo! I can't see anything, and oh, there's balloons. Oh, are we dead? Not again. We're so close here. Oh, we can pop it normally. No, we can't. Oh, yes, we can't. I have just zero faith in them without abilities, but hey, we did win, and also, I'm so glad I didn't pick a map that would have fortified balloons. That would have been so awful. We would have definitely lost. And I'm once again gonna end it here because I want to watch the dub awards, but I don't really feel like... I don't know if I feel, don't feel like cutting it. Maybe that's it. Laziness. That's probably the answer. Uh, but thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give the video a like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment as well. Um, and yeah, just thank you all for watching all the way to the end. If you did watch this whole video, that's really awesome too. That makes a big difference. Honestly, if I had to guess, like based on information I know and can see, I'd probably say that watching a video all the way through makes like a bigger difference than five people watching it. Like just in general. Uh, like with like average view duration stuff. Because it actually makes a big difference. YouTube cares a lot about how long into the video you watch. Because if the average person watches half your video, YouTube thinks it's a really, really good video, uh, especially if it's a longer video, so, yeah, um, that, that's awesome. <laughs> Anyways, just have a wonderful day, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!